Change Healthcare, formerly known as MDON, has notified us that there is a critical update and that users of their clearinghouse will need to update the configuration settings. Um, if you guys are using Change Healthcare, formerly known as MDON, as your clearinghouse to submit those claims, all mailboxes are going to be suspended from using uh, that configuration come November 2016. What this means is that you won't be able to upload or download any claim or report files from the clearinghouse using that old configuration. So in order to avoid problems with the clearinghouse account, every workstation um, or computer that accesses revenue management will need to have this update completed. Uh, the action is required and the steps for completing this are going to be the same between Litech and Metasoft. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to make those changes within Metasoft. Um, first of all, go ahead and open up Revenue Management through Activities, Revenue Management. We'll go ahead and we're going to start out by going into the Configuration or Configure tab here and selecting Communications. Now after locating the Capario communication line in here, Capro, we can see that there's a username, password, and address field that are populated. What we'll do just to start out is we're going to click on the details window button here and we'll press OK. And then we'll go ahead and click on this box up here that says scripts. Now that that's open, go ahead and open a notepad and start out by just copying all of the information from the send script tab right here into your notepad and then hit file, save as, and we're going to call this send script. You can go file new in your notepad and then click on the receive tab and go ahead and do the same. Highlight all, copy, and paste it into your notepad. This one we're going to save as receive script. And from here, we can go ahead and close out of this window. Now, we've tested in the past here, um, amending the existing Capario connection seems to result in it changing back after the changes were made. So what we typically do is create a new communication session here by going to the top and clicking this Add Session button. Once you do that, you can go ahead and name the first column Change. And under the description, you can click Change Healthcare. Under the type, we'll go ahead and select Internet, and then we'll return to the top and hit Save. You can now click the Name field and have it sort by name. And what we're going to be doing is essentially creating the exact same values that you see in the Capario line into the Change Healthcare line here. So I'll start by copying over the username and the password, and I'll press Save again. Now you can see the username and password have been populated and we're just missing the address. So we'll go ahead and click on the details box for the address. And the updated address link can be found on our website at asconf.com forward slash mdon emf migration. And we'll go ahead and put a link to this in the video below. Once on this page, Go ahead and locate the download here text and start that download up. You'll need this file for a little bit later. And you'll also see in bold the address that we're going to be replacing in the line for revenue management. So we'll go back to revenue and we'll just simply paste that line from the website and press OK. And this box may say that it's unable to display the web page, that's fine. From this section, go ahead and navigate to scripts. And what we're going to do is use the notepad that we had created here to essentially just copy these values from the receive script back into the receive through a copy paste and then file open your send and do the same thing into the send tab. Once done, you can click X. There is no save button in that screen and you can press the save button up here. You've now created the new communication session here that can be used to send the claims. And from this point, all you have to do is press Configure, Receivers, 
go ahead and locate the Capario line that you'll see in your system. We don't currently send to Capario, so we don't have that line here. And what you're going to do is under communication session here, or COMS, you'll just click and ensure that this is set to change, the newly created communication session. Once done, scroll over just slightly until you see the word transaction and click on that. Scroll down and ensure that the communication session at the bottom is also set to change healthcare. Once done, press save and close. And you can go ahead and exit out of revenue management. Now that we've downloaded the file transfer jar, and we've saved it to the desktop, we can go ahead and close out of Metasoft. And we'll go to the Metasoft icon, and we're gonna right click, open file location. From within here, scroll to the top and locate the RCM folder. Within RCM, this is where you're going to drag and drop that file that we've downloaded. So we'll just simply open up our downloads page here. And we're going to copy and paste that directly in. And you can see we already had one in there, so it gave it a number. Essentially, if you can see that the file is inside of the RCM folder and it's 149 KB, you'll know that this is correct. Now before exiting out, you'll want to locate a file called proxymedca. And once you locate that, you can go ahead and delete it entirely from this folder. Once gone, exit out of this window, and you can go ahead and relaunch Metasoft. You should now be able to send claims to Capario without issue. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks!